Episode of the Lights On and Not Lights On podcast. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> it is still warm. Your prediction of rain didn't really um, Did last culminate week, yeah. too much. Only two days. It's been moaning it a bit wet there. <laughs> well, uh, moving swiftly on, um, I have a, uh, a kind of um, culminating set of topics that are cool. all, all um, strung together. Like onions. <laughs> yes, I suppose. Garlic. I suppose like onions, yeah. Stung together like. Well, there's, a there's a. Handkerchief. <laughs> you could definitely say so. Yeah. Um, the thing I have noticed, particularly in the last, oh, I don't know, fifteen, ten years, since the. Um, okay. Now. Since in like like the invention of YouTube. There's oh, been a me. there's been a saw of uh, I would say shock factor um, slash abysmal content that has arisen. No. <laughs> well, like like no. in your in your day, well, I didn't you YouTube. had yeah you didn't have YouTube obviously or anything well, like that. You had what three channels? Well, on telly, yeah, BBC One, ITV, yeah. and eventually. BBC Two, hmm. then Channel Four. Yeah, and would you no say daytime TV? No, would you say back then that even though there was less content, it was kind of more concentrated. So it was like something that well, yeah, people would be more likely to view. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because it didn't take your life over. Yeah, you 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 wouldn't have dreamt of having to tell you, and in the day it was fuck all on anyway. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm it saying? Used to be children an hour. An yeah. hour for kids program. Well, even even in my day, there was children's at home. Yeah. Yeah, and then nah, that was it. Freaking yeah. day they had blasted mm. um, channel for them, and then no one went out and wanted to and play. Well, the thing I <laughs> the thing I find very interesting is that there's thousands of hours worth of content, particularly on YouTube. Every second or something, there is millions of videos uploaded. Um, on television, there's thousands of different channels. There's so all of this availability, watch but. This. But Stop. I find that is there anything actually worth watching? I would say no. Well, you got to filter through it all, ain't you? I would say that. A bit back of I would say that. I mean, obviously nowadays it's more accessible, but I would say it's certainly worse content than what it was the at market's fifteen. Flooded with crap. It's flooded I... with terrible things. I mean, like the thing I've come across recently is food reviews. Have you heard of food reviews? I've heard of food. Well, that the traditional really the traditional sense of a food reviewer would be perhaps somebody that um, is kind of uh, trained. Maybe they go to a restaurant. Maybe perhaps um, uh, yeah, they'll yeah. review that restaurant and then do some feedback in a in a, a paper article or something like that, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. That would be your traditional sense, right? Uh, Whereas now, with the innovation of YouTube, yeah. um, we have what I would call amateur food reviewers. Oh, <laughs> that's people without taste buds that eat shit. I would, I would certainly say so because yeah, um, probably about nineteen and a half stone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, they, yeah, they. Well. The, the thing which fascinates yeah. me oh, is good. that we have uh, a collection of people that seemingly have exactly the same video. Really, oh. they, they'll, they'll come into a vehicle. Of their own. Come their, into a vehicle. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'll, they'll step into their. Well, they'll sit in their own car, right? Like Having just. Somebody else. <laughs> dropped all the crumbs and the batter bits. <laughs> well, they, they, they'll sit in their own vehicle and they'll return from um, a fast food joint. So how can you refer And they'll feel the need to fucking review it. I don't understand. Why people would tune in uh, and watch a middle-aged, overweight man um, who's who I can give with a description there, pal. Mm-hmm. Middle-aged, overweight <laughs> man. yeah, middle-aged, overweight man who evidently is, why is there on a middle age. Why isn't it some youngster? 
I don't know. This no, is this. Late people this seems to be way. the general consensus with food reviews well, that I've found. I've never seen a middle-aged person come out of a fast food thing yet. Really? No. Yeah. Well, certain, a lot of the Not content does seem to be from the US that's hitting the high views. Oh, um, I mean, there's there. there's one in particular. Um, he's hit. Capital of the beast, He's hit okay. uh, nine point two million views to review a burger and fries from uh-huh. Five Guys. That's a um, fast food joint. Um, and uh, for the first three minutes, he speaks just unspeakable, absolute fucking gibberish. Right, right. It, it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, right, so that's three minutes of the video gone out uh-huh. of ten. Um, I and then switched off. I got bored. I know. And then he proceeds to just consume a burger and fries, right? Um, I, I don't understand this, because it's fucking madness, basically. Because, you, know, you know, you've got... Um, you know, this this overweight, sweaty fucking man who, you know, you can almost smell the sweat and fucking grease excreting into the fucking s- leather mm. seating. Mm. Right? I'm, sat on, I'm sat on a wooden seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. It's just disgusting. Yeah, it's just disgusting, though. It's like, who'd want to watch it? I, mean, I, 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 can can show, watch I will it, show you... N- well, I don't know. As I say, 9.2 million on, people have watched Obviously, this. he's got so much that's attractive. I don't know. Fact. I will show you this clip now. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go three minutes in, because oh, no, the rest of it's... Holiday, yeah. The rest of it is just gibberish. Go on, then. Uh, okay. Try it there. Oh, man, he has a close-up of a fucking oh, burger. Now, let me fall back because I already know those fries. He has a he has a close-up of that. But he's just speaking fucking gibberish about a burger that's probably got about four million calories. Jesus. And he I'm just eats local. it. Exactly. He's just consuming. Look, I mean, like, who eat, who calls? Who can you call him? How, I mean, can, how is that a review? Well, it's not. Really, obviously, it's <laughs> he's sat in his fucking vehicle, just consuming a burger. Yeah, but it's done, mm-hmm. isn't it? It's done with a. Uh, I don't know. No, he's just drinking yeah, a, a large oh, mate, coke or whatever. And look, he's. Yeah, but he, he gro- in it. I mean, know. like the the audio, he groans and moans like yeah, he's well, having he's sexual intercourse with this burger. He's obviously uh, done yeah, it man. for that reason to gain attention. And it's unbelievable. I mean, yeah. as I say, who would who would tune into this? See, when I first yeah. watched telly. I mean, yeah, here, here he says, he says you can almost, you can feel it slide down your throat. Yeah, well, that's just. I mean, what way. is? Uh, yeah, you know. I wouldn't even <laughs> watch that because you're falling into the trap of watching it. I know, but as I say, nine, so nine point two million that people. That one's even gone on my viewing. Mm, I know, but nine point two million people have tuned in to watch this. Well, moment. there's obviously nine point two saddos. Have a, basically an orgasm over a burger. I wonder mm-hmm. what their first viewing figures were for Fanny Craddock when she used to be. The who the hell's funny first, credit? She was one of the first TV celebrity cooks. Yeah. yeah. I see. She was you should check a bit out. Lethal. And mm. I can't remember which channel, I had a one or two back mm. in the late 60s. Mm. The Galloping Gourmet, Graham Kerr, he was one of mm. the very first celebrity chefs. I see. There you go, useless bit of information. You should, you should. What's the difference between Fanny Craddock? What, and some overweight man no, eating a bug. <laughs> Fanny Craddock and a cross country runner. I have no idea. One's a pant in the country. I'm totally lost. No, others don't know what I'm on. <laughs> Playing words. But, but there, there's not oh, just. I've just lost five minutes of my life watching that shite. This is what I'm saying. Um, but there's not just this. There's a, on, uh, other. There's other top content available. Top content. Yes, we use this term loosely. Yeah. Uh, um, there's this. My bowels. When people that. run out of ideas, like content creators on YouTube, that they what? turn. Hmm? That what? When people run out of ideas. You said on something YouTube. else then. This is like content something. No, you're just deaf. <laughs> <laughs> on, when when content creators run out of ideas, they turn to the thing that is the most easiest to do. They make challenge videos. Have you heard of challenge videos? Right. They do various simple tasks, well, that they challenge themselves, and usually of some fucking grotesque fashion. Yeah, go on. You know. Go on, um, this one... This one, it's linked to the food review guy. It's kind of like the next 
the next level of oh, food. Stuck under no, the there are two. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. called a mouth guard challenge. Uh, there are, this has been all over the YouTube. Uh, Every possible content cool. creator imaginable has done this, and it's obviously setting it up just to make some fucking mistake. Because I mean, they've obviously got their mouths wide open, uh, and they try to obviously drink or eat food, which means it goes everywhere. This is apparently premium content, standing at 2.3 million views for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is premium content for us. I don't even find that funny. No, this it's is what. So no, they're just eating or drinking just, various it's different objects. It's fucking predictable, isn't it? You know this what's what I'm going saying. Happen. You you can tell from the get go because it's obvious what's going to happen. But as I say, still 2.3 million people. So they're doing, just do. trying to outdo each other by being basically yes. stupid and grotesque. Yes. This is what and this is what I think is yeah, the problem. Yeah, enough of that. Shit. Yeah, the problem with YouTube is breeding this kind of desperate content where where they Do feel these the people need. People go out for this. Or yes, what? as I say, two point three million views. They will be paid for this video. It's astounding. Like that overweight gentleman that yeah. had the burger. <laughs> he was paid a considerable mm. amount of money for that. It's incredible, isn't it? Uh, but there's this, this I'll start and ignite my farts then and send in smoke signals to an Indian reservation. <laughs> this is what I'm, I know. This is what amuses me. Um, in you know, like screw, screw premium proper content of yeah, uh, short yeah, videos or feature films. What a bag of shark! Go on. We have a man with a mouth guard. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the biggest thing going on on YouTube at the moment. Yeah. This one's the two top people, arguably, on YouTube at the moment. Yeah, uh, a I've young, heard of these people. No, a young guy called KSI, and another gentleman that's been in the news called Logan Paul. Hey. Yeah. Logan Paul. Um, Logan Paul is famous for um, filming a dead guy in a Japanese um, <laughs> forest, the suicide forest. He got in major trouble for it a while ago. And he's uh, now trying to resurrect his career by... Uh, you say trying to resurrect the fucking dead bloke. <laughs> he's one. a bit, yeah, <laughs> jumping up and down in him. <laughs> he may as well have done. He was very disrespectful mm -hmm. to this man. But he got in, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he got in big trouble for that. He's now trying to resurrect his career by doing a boxing match. What with the two? No. <laughs> yeah, now he's boxing. If that wasn't enough, oh, a corpse. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, this other guy, uh, KSI, they're both YouTubers. Cool. Um, they both are amateur people. Boxing. Yeah, they, they, well, I wouldn't even class them as boxers. Yeah, cool. But they are having a boxing match in the UK, right? In I think it's at the end of this month, right? Yeah, in awesome. Man in cool. Manchester Arena. Right. People are going to pay oh, to that's see up this to event. Them twat, they've got enough money to do it. Good old. I know, and they they are taking. Uh, Amateur dramatics, I would say, to a different level. Um, we, they've even da started doing these pref press conferences um, where they don't seem to understand the point of a press conference of a boxing match. You know, boxing matches yeah, well, where... Are they, they overstate? Because these press conferences at boxing, sometimes they get, it's all staged anyway. Yes, they're exactly. Really there is a strong... So are they just gone one step further and they're just ridiculing it? No, this is what gets me. They, they well... It seems to be. Show it. I'll tell you. I'll fucking tell you whether it's. Well, I won't have the audio one, but they they are for the first twelve minutes. They, they are just. Up to each they way. are just trading insults. Oh, that's uh, um, that's just done for the fucking audience. Yes, man. but the the interesting thing is. Um, He'll come back in a That's moment. That's fucking Americanized. If ever oh, no, 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 the fuck's he? He doing? KSI goes to put on a wig, um, to be like the other guy. Is this a oh, this has been staged. I know, that's what I'm saying. People believe that the, there is a real rivalry here. That's um, staged just to sell more tickets. Yes, Some I know. Them Muppets at the front. Yeah, there are people coming. cheering them. He gets in his face. It's it's very Where's obvious. Where's the other mushet? <laughs> no, and then, then here we go. Oh, yeah, serious. <laughs> oh, yeah, really. I know, right? That is <laughs> fake. That is pure fake. Yeah. The the only the, the real Are they American? 
Well, one is English and KSI, the black fellow. I oh, saw so them um, mushes on the friggin' Yeah, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah, I know, right? How can you they fall are, for it? They are charging to Suck see it. this. They're doing pay per view. They are charging six pounds so that you oh, can actually watch this. Fucking got six quid to wait. Two amateurs. People that have never really properly boxed Amateur in their life. Everything. I know. Um, they don't, as I say, they don't know how to do a proper press conference. They just trade insults for about 30 minutes. Oh, fuck me. I think uh, they're <laughs> the bastard weed. That's so it's for free. Uh, people have gone to pay, to see, so they're paying to see this. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, the last one that KSI did, he's, he's had another amateur boxing fight before, and he generated over 20 million views to fight a previous YouTuber. Uh, 20 million uh, to... Uh, it is unbelievable. Boring. That's what I'm saying. This is, this is the kind of content that young people are watching today, and I find it amusing. But, I mean, there's some older folks there. Surely they well, they they are just no. They're being paid to be there. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All the the people in the audience are the, the people in the audience are probably below the age of thirteen, I would say. But that's going to be an interesting one when they go to their parents. Oh, can I can I go to see this boxing? Oh, well, can I go mean? to see Can I go to see my favourite content creator get fucking punched in the face repeatedly? <laughs> I've never heard a fucking child talk like that. Uh, what? what sort of child have you got? What? Oh, mummy and daddy <laughs> fucking see my favourite content creator yeah. get punched in the face. Yeah, yeah, often, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I go oh, and man. can I go and get, see him get his fucking nose yeah. broken into oh, three get, pieces? Yeah, and they're just as I say they're they're dragging this one out. It's been going since the start of the year. Right, this is on, on This is on the twenty fifth of August. Of all, that was fucking bank holiday week. You used to go to fucking Reading Festival there. Uh, now we go to see people beating each other up for money. <laughs> the real piss. what gets me is they say obviously they say one of them's going to lose, but I don't think so. Oh, Both of them are gonna come out extraordinarily rich. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Miraculous, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I know, and going back to these challenge videos, uh a man a long while ago, but it, it was just such a bizarre story, I had to cover this. Um, he thought it'd be a good idea to do a, a very strange challenge video where he puts his head in a microwave. I think I've heard of this one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he puts his head in a microwave and then he puts cement in it. Yeah. Now, what what kind of scenario Is could you foresee? Uh, setting. On it? What uh, kind setting. of scenario... Yeah. Cement, yeah. Said, what yeah. what kind of scenario could you possibly see where this would turn out okay? Well, what was, it, <laughs> what was the end? What was he hoping for the end result? Uh, the end result is very. I, I have no idea. I'm presuming. So going to put you in. I'm presuming he just wants it for monetary gain. Well, right. Why didn't he just put his head in a cement mixer? I know he may as well have done. Um, the he had to. Of course, it solidified as usual. So he's got his head stuck in a fucking microwave. And uh, it costs the fire services to come out and fetch him out. Six hundred and fifty pounds to free him. him. I know. Um, the guy. Uh, oh, he put his head in a plastic bag inside the microwave oh, that's before. Clever. Yeah, so that so just that adds to it as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to be going blue. Yeah. yeah, as if this isn't dangerous enough. I'll just chuck this plastic uh, bag on it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, they tried to free him for ninety minutes. Um, but his, but the friends thought we better call the ambulance at this but point. What, what was the what the uh, motive? The, yeah, why would he? What was he aiming to do with putting his head in this thing? Um, There's got to be an end result for it. Uh, or did he just do it because he? It seems like it seems it. like he's just trying to step up these challenge videos and say they. They're going up, like get, trying to get more extreme with every uh, every video that they do. It's very desperate. Mm. They're doing it for money. It's obvious. It's astounding. But um, I know a lot of people. As I say, this is what this is what young people are watching today. Well, so it's I astounding. Watch Blue Peter and Magpie. <laughs> Fucking well, that's the thing. In your day, you have it's Friday. It's five o'clock. It's cracker jack. No, no. Fucking but this, no. But this time though, Leslie Crowther. This time though, it's Friday. Why not put your head in a cement mixer? <laughs> Why not put your head in a microwave? That's safe. <laughs> stupid. I know. But this, this is what gets me. The, the people that seem to be getting the top views, um, 
seem to be what I would class as people with very low IQs. <laughs> watch Love Island. Yes. Well, I would say it's probably the same people that watch Love Island. Big Brother. Yes. Well, they sounds are essentially... Like a, sounds like I'm biased now against those sort of programs, doesn't it? Shame, because I fucking will am. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> the, 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 the essential thing is that um, Love Island and the Big Brother are basically the same thing. Doesn't anybody notice this? It's exactly the same. They 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 him, they stand that. around either a fucking island or, or a room or whatever, and try and have sexual relations with each other. That that's it, and people like watch this. That's what like, they do. All the stupid is. things at the same time. Yeah, just do like nonsensical crap. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me Gardener's will any day, mate. Are you still watch Gardener's will? Well? We're monted on. I wonder why the Mon- I wonder whether Monty Don's going to challenge someone to a boxing match soon. <laughs> oh, no, Monty Don versus Monty right? Don versus Alan Titchmarsh. No, no, <laughs> the battle Alan of the gardens. I don't like him. He's a prick. You know, you might get to see him get He's beat up. Gardener. You might get beaten up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he writes, an appeal. He writes books. Does he? Titchwank. Yeah. Right. One minute he's a gardener, the next minute he's bloody presenting songs of praise. I thought he was he... bloody doing sexy books or something. Sexy? Alan Titchmarsh? Apparently so. I ain't read what? Now, Alan Titchmarsh is Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Earth or something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I don't like him, he's a smarmy git. Yeah, but the older lady seems to like him. Yeah, but I'm not a fucking older lady. <laughs> I'm not a fucking gardener. I don't like him. It's false. It's strange. Isn't it? to do ground force. That was yeah. Fixed. Well, <laughs> what gets me is that on on that program, um, he'd be the only one essentially not doing anything. He'd not, just kind no of wander around. Really. I found out what they did on that. Well, they had staged. a back room, back. Hmm. What you may call it, background. Whatever you call them, staff. Yes. So they'd film them three doing it. Matey with his bloody. They were all just put up staging and shit like that. Yeah, the big bloke. Yeah, then they had Titch Wank doing his bit, and then that woman, the lady, yeah, who's losing do water features. They did a few minutes filming, and mm. the well, this is come in this is the interest of the work. Yeah. Make it look like they'd done all that in X amount of yes, hours, yeah. which is totally impossible. Whereas it took days. And they all just encouraged him to have. Oh, you must have a mature garden. Bollocks! <laughs> the idea of having a garden is you're watching it grow. You don't want some that's nine foot tall whacking in straight away. Well, how the shite that is. Mm. But this is the thing on on many of these um, programs and even YouTube videos like that last one with KSI and that. It's all completely and utterly staged. It, there's not there's not anything that's actually real going on with it, is there? It's no. all fake. Oh yeah. Exactly. So why do people tune into this? And a lot of people. I mean, like, like particularly with the with that boxing match, people are so strongly invested in this thing, and it's not it's not real. But is life real now? What you're saying, everything's fake. Yep. Like everything. What social media? Or you yeah. Mean, you mean just going outside? Going outside, fake. Are we getting our tin foil hats on? Is it like? Fuck yeah. Are we in the matrix? You go out, no control. You go to that there in the morning. I mean, look at you gone out. Look at you gone. Oh, I see what you mean. Like socialising. Fucking hell! What are you do? What means hello? Good morning. What do you mean good morning? What? Oh, good morning. Fuck off. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> fucking stab you in the fucking head. Then fucking say out to you. Yeah. Really. Stab yeah. you in the head, that might seem a well, bit... Anywhere. Oh, anywhere, it depends on what I'm on about. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> oh, dear, that's another one. <laughs> Everybody's so fucking selfish. Mm. I would certainly agree. Yeah. I think... Well, this is the thing, I Go think... Out on the road, some twat revving his car up. Mm. Well, you want to get a few yards further. Mm. They'll probably video him saying doing it, then another day. Yeah, and then they put it on social media. Yeah. This is what This is what I'm saying, well, I then think... Well, prats it on bikes, did... Some mush the other week, 200 mile an hour. Put it yeah. up on, you got fucking busted for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll think once, think twice. That was very clever, five. wasn't it? 
Put it online. Think, <laughs> think, think bike. Yeah, ex-biker, if you don't mind. But uh, if you're going to go out at 200 mile a fucking hour and film yourself, well, I'm sorry. But I ain't <laughs> or vlogging fucking, on your... <laughs> yeah, I'm of a certain <laughs> age now. I'm of a certain <laughs> age now. I'm in fucking mind. don't think that quick. I didn't even see you. I'd get fucking done for it. Uh, oh, good morning. Good morning, guys. I'm good no, morning. hurtling <laughs> forward on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a perpetuating circle because people watch this kind of content, right? Ooh, and and they see that kind of bravado and showing off and such, and then they'll yeah, carry but... it on into real life. Oh well, yeah. I think it's uh, you know what I mean. There's a there's a circle because obviously young people are watching this content, and then they go out and then they bomb around in their their little converted vehicles and vlog themselves. You see what I'm saying? There's a the, the monkey see oh, monkey yeah. do, isn't it? Oh yeah, got the fucking. That's what I said to you ages ago. Mm. I'm glad we didn't have this when I was younger because crap, I'd have been cringing by now. <laughs> All the stuff would have been. Well, they, but the, they, yeah. they've got, got to, every time they've got to do a fucking selfie, they've got to film mm. this, they've got to film that. Oh look, I'm pissed out me, I don't want to film that. <laughs> I'm not fucking interested in watching that shit, yeah. so I don't watch it. Slang it all up on there, and, yeah. fuck you. and then they get 9.3 million views. <laughs> That's what I think to that. <laughs> Fucking Jurassic Park. So That's next it. next week, you're gonna be just eating a burger for 30 minutes. <laughs> no, I might eat myself. <laughs> well, I'd love to see that. Quite frankly, I think you should get like 20 million views for that. Mm. Consuming yourself. Yeah, start off with your fucking fingers. <laughs> no. Oh, How can you review what I'm going to eat? Uh, can you, uh, before we leave, um, there's one thing that I've been meaning to post, well, uh, show people. Uh, the new football season is. Oh, football. No, no, no. Cool. The new football season is uh, around the corner, isn't it? Mm. Arsenal have got a new manager, mm. haven't they? Go on. Oh, I know what you're going to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, Play on words again. There you? was. Uh, they they thought they'd release their monthly Arsenal magazine with their new manager, yeah. as you do. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now, whoever photoshopped this and put their manager on this didn't really, really it's think It's not been about deliberately it. done, has it? This is genuine. This is genuine, yeah. I don't Go have on. a picture right here, oh, but um, true, people right. will see it. Uh, um, now, he's... Uh, he sat well. He stood there with his arms folded. Mm. Uh, if you look at the top where it's supposed to say Arsenal, what yeah. does it say instead? Anal. I know. <laughs> Is that a hallmark for the season? <laughs> Anal. Anal. <laughs> Anal. Anal. Anal FC. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. and uh, I think we're going to leave it on that note. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anal, mate. yeah. Go and watch Anal FC this evening. Anal <laughs> FC, EFC. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tea towel holder. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, lovely. So, is that it? I'm afraid so. That is it for this week's Like, Follow, Not, Like, Some podcast. And you can find us on iTunes at Like, Follow, Not, Like, Some. You can find us on YouTube at Golden Cup Productions. In between all these fucking videos. Yeah, if you want us, if you have any time uh, in amongst seeing people eat burgers, maybe uh, go on to our Facebook at Golden Cup Productions and watch a short film, maybe. (laughs) If you don't feel like watching two people punch each other up. Maybe watch a, a short film or something yeah, like that instead. Yeah, okay, yeah. Read a book. Right then. Uh, uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.